far now. It is currently very early. So obviously this morning is London and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really quickly gonna throw on some makeup because I need makeup on, I'm ugly, <laughs> makeup on. Do my hair and then my taxi is booked in an hour and a half to make sure Hamish is awake and hit the road. First of all, makeup. Makeup and very cheeky energy juice because it's very early and it's a treat. I am feeling so much more human now. Just wait till I put my hair extensions in and then everything will be much, much better looking. Really enjoying this wet brush for extensions. Is it still a wet brush if it's for extensions? It is. It's a wet brush but it's for hair extensions. I mean really it's for hair extensions that are like, you know, permanently attached to your head but it works really nicely to brush my clippings. I'm putting in a ponytail because I think it's kind of the easiest style to manage during a long day. Which is a bit of an art when you've got very thin hair and you want to do a ponytail with extensions but it really is quite easy, I find. But that's because I do it a lot I guess, or I used to do it a lot. And back to doing it a lot more. I should probably go and wake up Hamish. Get him up and showered. It's so easy for men. All he has to do is get up, have a shower, probably eat a bowl of cereal, and then that's him. Ready to ready to go. Last night it was like, oh, I need to pack, I need to pack, where's my bag? Realistically, he put a spare t-shirt in his backpack along with his laptop and underwear and socks. And that's him ready. I think. 
That's at Westminster, Big Ben. So we're just back from wandering around London. I've given myself the worst blister in the world. I don't think I can show you. What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> Fall off the bed. <laughs> there, look. It's massive. And it's actually really cold, so I'm gonna jump in the shower and heat up. And then I think me and Hamish are just gonna really chill this evening because we've actually spent quite a lot, oh, quite a long time, haven't we, just wandering. Yep. Saw Piccadilly Circus, Trafalgar Square, went into Liberties, did Oxford Street, Regent Street, we walked the Thames, saw Tower Bridge, saw some other cool places, the Gherkin and all that. So it's been a really, really nice day wandering around London and we're both sitting here discussing if we could possibly move here. <laughs> It's that good. But I also want to say, you saw me eat Pret. What else have I had? I've had drinks throughout the day. This lipstick has not budged. I need to show you what it is because it's one of those ones that if you're needing one to last a while. So it's the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink. This one in 25. Is that focusing? 25 heroin anyway. This does not budge at all no matter what you eat so you can need a really long wear liquid lipstick that's really good but yeah we're just gonna chill now for the rest of the evening and i'll probably pick back up tomorrow i'm meeting nicole so i'll vlog that and probably a little bit of us getting ready and then the party so yeah i'll see you tomorrow the lighting in this room is not brilliant basically i've already done my eyes and i've put on moisturizer um I'm trying something a little bit new, which could be quite dangerous when I've got an event, but I've basically mixed my favorite moisturizer, which is the Declior Hydrofloral, and I've mixed it with my ABH Liquid Glow in Perla. I'm not this yellow in real life, by the way. Um, and then I've gone in a tiny bit with my professional Matte Rescue. Just on top, why am I out of breath? And I'm gonna wait to do the rest of my base makeup for when Nicole gets here. She got into Marleybone um, really recently. Got a bit of a chaos of makeup behind me. I thought I could just show you what I brought with me and you can see kind of how much I overpacked quite dramatically. Although I do think it's better to overpack than underpack. So first of all, I've got all my brushes in this gosh makeup bag. Let me show you all the brushes I brought. I washed these all the night before I came as well. Um, obviously, I've used a bunch of them now. Um, yeah, so I brought a lot of brushes. I'd rather have too much than too little. Um, so I've still got to do my base, but yeah, I used, used a lot of those brushes. I'm testing these blank canvas cosmetics ones for the first time. I've not used these yet. Um, but yeah, lots of my lots of my faves. Um, I'm gonna do uh, what are my favourite makeup brushes soon because I've got I get a lot of requests for that video, um, so I'm gonna film that soon. Um, but yeah, that's the brushes I brought. And then apart from like my moisturising and primer and things, these are the foundations I brought. I brought my Maybelline in 05, my L'Oreal Pro because I thought I could mix them to have a bit more of a dewy finish but still keep full coverage. Or I brought my Tarte. Um, shape tape because I really love this foundation a lot. Um, I brought a bunch of different eyelashes. I'm wearing the Dubai lashes with my pinky goat ones but I've also brought my Kylie ones. Um, in terms of palettes, I've obviously got my Soft Does Nails palette. Hello. Um, but then I brought a bunch of ABH singles, just like basic shades in case I wanted to deepen anything up. And I also brought my um, what's that? My Nabla Dreamy palette, which is actually what I've used today with the Soft Does Nails palette, just to deepen it up. Um, 
I have my NYX cream and powder contour kits because I love them. I brought a bunch of different eyebrow products, two of the ABH, um, what are these called, the like brow powder duos. I really like dark brown for that dark shade for the end of my brow so that they're really deep. But then I like this one as well, this is medium brown to kind of map out the shape of my brows. Um, but I did bring a brow wiz as well, what's that, that's an eyeliner. Um, a couple different brow gels, two clear ones and gimme brow and I also brought a L'Oreal one. I don't know where that one is. It's here, my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper and my Dip Brow which I use religiously. This is in dark brown so that's brows. Um, concealers, I brought a few different options. I brought my two favourite Revolution ones. Um, my Urban Decay one for high coverage and then this is the YSL. This is really good for face blemishes which is why I brought that one. Eyelash application tools, a couple eyeliners, my By Terry mascara, strobe cream which I might even mix in with my foundations, I don't know. I brought two highlighters, the Revolution Skin Kiss and my Amrezi one. That one's almost too light for me so I'm going to mix it um, so that I've got a nice mix of in between and I really love the Amrezi one. I don't want to go anywhere without that to be honest. Um, I brought a couple different blushes, my Milani Luminosa that I really love but I also brought this blush kit um, because I really love um, this shade but also I really love this pink on like my cheekbone because it's so lovely and pink. brought a few different kind of eye glitters, there's a hair, that's good off. So I brought my two favourite Urban Decays. I would have used the green one if I was doing like a green eye, but I've gone with a pink eye, so I use a pink eye. So I use my grind one. I brought this just in case, but I've not used it. Um, this is the Technic Metallics. It's like a cream eyeshadow, but this is incredible. If you use a really light hand for a highlight base. And then I brought my Stila Ballet Baby one, I think, for my inner corner. Um, a Bobbi Brown concealer for carving brows. This is the best eyeliner that I've ever used. It's the BAM Schwing eyeliner, it's incredible. What else? Oh, I also brought my Dandelion Mini Blush, my Hourglass Iridescent Strobe Light for all over my skin. MAC Studio Fix for setting my face as well as my Laura Mercier for setting under my eyes for baking because that powder is like airbrush in a pot, it's incredible. Um, I brought my Rosewood is it? Yeah, my Rosewood bronzer by ABH. I think the rest is eyes, is it? Oh no. I also brought my Glam Crystals by Collection just in case I used that. Um, a nude eyeliner and then the rest is lip products, so I'll show you. That's how many lip liners I brought. I then brought um, a couple orange and reds in case I want to go that route, a purple liquid lipstick, a nude liquid lipstick, um, oh that's another actually, um, one of those Technic um, base products, didn't end up using that, but I'm, I'm actually probably going to wear this, I bought a lip gloss actually, which is really weird, I never wear lip gloss, but the other day I sent a picture to my friend Nicole um, and I was wearing a lip gloss and lip liner combo and she was like, you look like you've had lip fillers, your lips look incredible. So I was like, well, I'm going to wear lip gloss to the event. So I've got this one by Maybelline, it's this gorgeous colour. This is in number 60 T's and I'm going to probably pair it with a Maybelline lip liner and it's just going to make my lips look bigger. And then to set my face, I brought my Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. This, because I want a dewy finish but with high coverage, so I want to have like really glowing healthy skin but super high coverage. So that is my my kind of setup and everything that I brought with me. And yeah, I'll just do my base when Nicole gets here um, and hopefully I can make myself look presentable. Um, yeah, I'm still super excited. I think the nerves are really kicking in now though, like uh, the kind of amount of people I'm gonna be meeting and like trying to like network and socialize and obviously you know I'm like an awkward turtle that sits in a corner Um, so we'll see how it goes I bought a bottle of wine I'm gonna have one glass of wine while I'm getting ready for a bit of like Dutch courage Um, don't worry mum just one and then I'll probably have a couple of drinks when I'm there um, just to kind of have in my hand and sip 
but we'll see. I'm not going to drink too much. Um, and also, well, A, I don't like drinking too much because hangovers are the worst and I'm an adult now, I don't need to drink. And tomorrow, me and Hamish are going to get up really early and explore the city even more before we go home. We're not getting the train home till three o'clock. So I think we want to go to like Chelsea and things and um, just kind of have a lovely walk. So yeah, I'll pick the camera back up when Nicole gets here. I might try and like set it up for our first meeting, but what if it's really awkward? Anyway, it'll be fine. So I'll see you soon. Now I feel really awkward now. I've never vlogged in front of anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right, okay. My shoes are thigh highs from Misguided. My dress is Pretty Little Thing, but on ASOS. And my jacket's Primark. Glorious. Hi! I don't know where my turtleneck is from, and my skirt was about £10 from Primark, and my sock boots are from LOTD.com, and they, these were really, really cheap in the sale too. Bargain. Featuring baby. Featuring. Form of fading. Yeah. Glorious in this really glamorous hotel room. a good friend that lets you borrow her socks. Give it to you. Uh, awesome. Um, we are so focused on trying to give you the best possible products as fast as we can and trying to deliver as much as possible at affordable prices. So I hope you get that. Are we uh, having a little early morning argument well, right now? We always have it on hotels. Too much time together. Oh, <laughs> That's not what I expected. <laughs> so we've just got home. We've just ordered Chinese. So I'm going to update you tomorrow and like tell you all about the event and everyone that I met and all of that tomorrow because tonight I just want to shower because our train was like delayed by two hours. It's been an awfully long day and I'm tired but I'll catch up with you tomorrow and we'll, we'll debrief then. Well good morning to you. It's now Saturday morning and I just quickly got dressed and nipped out to the post office because I was waiting on some parcels hence why I look like this and I've just put, I've just put makeup on. I'm just about to start tidying my room because it is like a bomb site in here. Um, since, let me see, yeah, it's very, very messy. But yeah, in terms of the, the party, it was incredible. I met Patricia Bright, Alexis Stone. I saw Sofda's nails, but I did not have the balls to go and speak to her. And then she left fairly early-ish. So kind of by the time I gathered up my courage to speak to her, she she was going. And then I saw Rachel Leary, um, who else did I see? Tammy from the one of the Makeup Revolution, um, like influencers. Um, all the girls that worked at Makeup Revolution were so, so nice. Um, Adam, I met Adam Minto, the creator of the brand. Um, obviously Anna, 
um, and Nicole from Instagram who are like really good friends now because they are so awesome in real life and it was so easy and I got along with them really well and there was no awkwardness which is great so yeah I just had the best time I stayed probably until like 11 o'clock um, by then Nicole who's four months pregnant was getting a bit tired on her feet and I was a bit tired so I thought yeah we'll leave and it was just awesome I had the best time and I really really hope I get to go to more in the future and yeah it's just really inspiring being in a room with people that were such like big that were such like big influencers and youtubers and I just thought oh my goodness and I was on the big screen they did like this PowerPoint not PowerPoint they did like a like a big presentation on the big screen and I was on it I'll put in a picture here and also they had this big board of pictures um which I'll put in here as well and I was on that which was insane like just me and the rest of the people that were on that board were like big influencers and youtubers and then just like little me I mean look at me now <laughs> why was I on that board but yeah it was so 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 good so good and I even survived on the London tubes and yeah yeah, it really was. It really was a dream come true to go to an event and I'm just so thankful that I was able to go and that I was invited. And yeah, it was just great and um, I've got another one coming up soon. If I can go, I don't know if I can so soon because travelling to London and then staying in London is really expensive um, and like travelling around London and um, I've got a sleek event coming up in April but I think it's just too soon. But yeah, I really did just have the best time ever. Like I said, I really hope I can go to more in the future and London is incredible. Me and Hamish just spent the whole time saying, can we move here? This would be amazing. But we can't really because he has a business in Edinburgh which needs him here. But yeah. So um, thank you though to everyone that was like messaging me and replying to my stories and things and you know, saying you know good on you for going and things that was really nice and yeah thank you so much for watching this vlog I'm sorry that I'm ending it looking like this um but this is what I look like unfortunately <laughs> yeah I'm gonna go away now and I'm gonna clean up my room I still have like all of my makeup in this huge makeup bag that I need to put away all my brushes need washed blah 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 I need to clean up and then I'm gonna film that Ellie girl video so yeah thank you so much for watching this vlog and um, I really hope you enjoyed it I'm very new to vlogging and um, so give it a thumbs up if you did leave me a comment come and follow my Instagram to make me up miss it I have a huge giveaway coming when I hit 5,000 subscribers on YouTube which I'll probably announce on my Instagram so just make sure to follow me on both platforms and yeah I'll see you in my next video bye